hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to discuss something about how to reduce the temperature on our asus a15 2021 series laptops be it a15 or a17 so this idea came up because my friend uh, uranium had commented on one of the videos that uh, have you tried disabling the uh, boost so i did not got it that what kind of boost was he asking me to disable so this is basically a processor boost of processor performance boost right so as you can see i'm just idling down not running much of the things like i'm just basically idling down and the temperatures are well above the temperature i mean this is the, the ambient of my room is uh, around i think 18 or 20 maybe 20 celsius because it's winter here but it's still ramping up to 65 c so what so the the whole scenario is basically uh, there is a registry editor in which you uh, change one of the registry keys or settings you want to say and it basically enables this processor power management option in the power power option edit plan settings setting and from here we can basically either uh, change it to any of the uh, options which are is shown here right so this this is the whole the whole scenario with this so basically first what you have to do is just go to start type reg open registry editor it will open up something like this now in order to navigate to just open h key local h h key local key machine i have already done that so that's the that's why the whole whole thing is already open up but i will just navigate you help you navigate so i will just put this in the comment section as well so just go to h key local machine then go to system then go to current control set then control then just navigate down go to power settings go to this specific 54533251 dash a to be then again scroll down go to this be 337238 0d82 and just select this one you do not have to go further down just select this one there will be an attributes section i mean attribute uh, option just double click on it the value data will be like one before before you change it so just change it to two and then select ok and then it will set to two now this will basically and go back to your uh, power power changing settings and whichever plan you have selected just go to change plan click on advanced power settings and then in, you will get an option now that processor power management is enabled so in this there are <clears throat> there are many scenarios right so every scenario has uh, some different different definitions so if you want to know like which which is how, what doing what so just keep your cursor on that and you will get the get get the info about that now <clears throat> you will not get the info if you select like this so you have to just change something like this and then uh, select back and then you will get to know what the efficiency enabled is so every every option has a different info right now coming straight to the point all these all these options like enabled aggressive enabled uh, efficient enabled efficient aggressive aggressive at guaranteed efficient aggressive at guaranteed all these options have the same output right uh, none of them have any any difference in uh, like if you want to have like it, it if you want if you are saying like if enabled has something to do with less power delivery or aggressive will have more power delivery no nothing would it will not be like that i have tested it properly in a very uh, uh, cpu demanding game and with the very lowest profile and i have <clears throat> i can verify that at least in my system all these options have the same impact now <clears throat> there is a disabled option right so what does the disabled option do so currently if you see here my cpu is clocking at around 3.74 gigahertz it would, it would clock sometimes and like that right so what what this option does is it just basically locks the cpu to 3 gigahertz that's it uh, there is no change uh, if you can say in power delivery or anything like that but yes the clock speed is set to the uh, base clock speed i think right yeah the original processor frequency is to 2.9 gigahertz so the this option basically sets it to 2.9 gigahertz that's it now 
obviously this is a very direct uh, impact uh, uh, means selection so lower the clock speeds lower the temperatures and it also comes along with an impact to the performance so how much is the performance impact is what uh, what we are going to discuss today so today i will not be discussing about how much of an impact is going uh, in the in the video video uh, transitions like uh, in video comp uh, in when we do any premiere pro video export or anything like that we will just be doing it today with the games so i i'll show you uh, uh, the the video about the games comparison will be will be after this but the very important points which i have caught in this testing are uh, like some six seven points are there right so when the when the plan the power plan where it is um, okay right i did power plan right so <clears throat> When the power plan is selected to enabled or aggressive, whatever it is, it, it all are same basically. Just, just it's either enabled or other of the options. So when it is set to aggressive, the clock speeds do go to like four gigahertz and all. But the biggest difference is here the fan speed, at least for my laptop, go to 5700 RPM at full full load when the CPU and GPU are topped out. So my fan speed, my laptop's fan speed is uh, at 5700 RPM max. Whereas I have seen in the case of disabled, it is somewhere in between 4000 to 4500 RPM as well. For this guy, it was very low. Like he's saying like it's, it's reaching for him only to 2300, but I did not find like that. I ran the games and all and I found out that only 4000 to 4500 RPM is the temperature limit now <clears throat> we can if, if I thought like if we are reducing the clock speeds right if we are reducing the clock speeds to 3 gigahertz why not limit the temperature itself rather than uh, reducing the clock speeds so what impact will it uh, show off so for that I am using Ryzen controller. So what uh, in in my testing videos you will see that there are three scenarios. First one is a disabled one in which you can see the clock speeds are locked to three gigahertz. There is a second scenario in which the <clears throat> the 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 power plan is set to aggressive mode, right? But it there is one more third option in which the power plan is set to aggressive mode, but there is a Ryzen controlled uh, setting enabled. So in that I have set the temperature limit to 80 degrees Celsius. I have not changed any other option because the main main motto for me was to limit the temperature because I saw that when we disable the when we disable it through the power plan, the clock speeds are locked at 3 gigahertz and in in neither of the scenarios the temperature went above 80 degrees celsius in any of the games so if the 80 degree mark was the uh, was the pinpoint to achieve so i thought of doing it with ryzen controller as well so that is there so there are three scenarios which i have mentioned right so the first first point which i uh, which i noticed was that the about the <coughs> fan speeds right now the second is if we talk about the one percent lows so whenever we are in disabled mode right when the when the clock speeds are at three gigahertz we i have always uh, seen that the one percent lows are very very good compared to either aggressive or if i have lowered the temperature via the ryzen controller right so the how much is the difference well i have calculated it, it to be somewhere in 11 to 14 percent difference range so in disabled mode although the clock speeds are very low uh, the temperature is also down but the one percent lows and 0.1 percent lows are better compared to aggressive plan and horizon control plan and how much are they are they better they are around 12 to 14 percent right now 
as I have already discussed that the CPU clock is CPU clocks are logged to 3 GHz and temperature is set to 80 degrees Celsius means the maximum CPU temperature which reaches is uh, 80 degrees Celsius in the uh, in, for for the CPU okay now there is a uh, now how much of a loss is there in FPS or uh, in in different scenarios so an average of six to eight percent loss is there in FPS titles right so if we down the clock speeds there are different different type of uh, games and every kind of game like every genre of game has different impact of clock speeds some some story mode games might might not have much of an impact right but for fps games we we need high clock speeds in order to get the higher frame rates so how much of a difference will it make in uh, story mode games or fps mode games or even in uh, racing racing type of games right so this is what i have tried to cover so an average loss of six to eight percent is there in fps type of games and 11 to 14 percent loss is there in story mode story mode games in disabled mode uh, compared to the aggressive mode right and this is this i am talking about the the average fps it's not about the one percent lows or 0.1 percent lows this is this is only about the average fps is how much of a difference you will get right and the temperature difference right so if if we talk about how much of a temperature difference can we get so a minimum of 10 degrees is there right if we go for any aggressive plan so a minimum of 10 degrees is there how how is how is it that i am calculating it so uh, the achieved temperatures in disabled mode is 80 degrees celsius but usually when i when i game in this laptop it's usually somewhere in between 85 to 90 c so i am taking 90 c as a as a baseline to compare to compare the difference in between disable mode and aggressive and uh, Ryzen Ryzen controller uh, uh, environment right so the temperature difference is around 10 degrees to 15 degrees because in aggressive mode there are many scenarios in which I have seen that the temperature spikes to 97 98 degrees and there are some scenarios in which there was a consistent 95 degrees Celsius uh, temperature while while gaming so that is the reason why i am saying like there is a difference of 10 to 15 degrees in between the profiles so it also depends right uh, like it also depends which type of games you are playing like if you are playing uh, story mode games then of course there will be a uh, more more temperature difference compared to if you are playing uh, fps title because for fps titles the the rendering is much much faster compared to the story modes right and so there is a there is one more observation which i have made and that observation is i am not sure who has implemented this limit but either it's asus or it's nvidia that has put down a power limit of uh, i mean sorry a temperature limit of 86 degrees celsius in the rtx 3050 once you reach the 86 degree mark in the gpu on the gpu means the rtx 3050 you cannot boost or you cannot get extra frames or you cannot get extra performance from the gpu that's what i have observed and in each and every run i have observed that thing that once the temperature reaches 86 degrees celsius there is no point in the 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 whole the whole msi afterburner thing it, it shows so if you see currently in the screen there is something called as power which you see here rtx 3050 limit so that is basically what is limiting the gpu to perform better and in this case it is power right so uh, what it's basically saying is the maximum uh, maximum what is which the laptop can consume or which the laptop can suck from the wall is already being done currently so it cannot suck any more power and even though there is there is an uh, there is a room for that like it's 65 watt right and it can go up to 75 watts but due to the fact that uh, asus has um, 
how should i put it like it has hard 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 enabled the maximum wattage which can be extracted from the 180 watt charger is around 105 watt uh, i can think it would be around 107 or 108 in some scenarios but uh, what i have seen is 105 watt is the benchmark uh, what do you call that what is the the benchmark watt at that is the maximum peak wattage which which the charger can uh, extract right uh, which the laptop can extract from the charger so in order to compensate in between that the the wattage is uh, like separated and distributed in between 3050 and the cpu so they have to uh, somehow manage that 110 watt so in in case when we disable from the power plan at that time the cpu is almost around 20 21 watts or something but then the gpu is is uh, extracting the full 75 watts right so i will just show you if we if we go to the disabled part this is lowest settings and it's disabled so the here you can see the cpu is extracting very less wattage but the gpu it 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 will go to 75 watts easily now this is this is a lowest setting that is the reason why it's not extracting but then if we go to the high settings and then go to like if we increase the uh, graphic settings and then go to the disabled part i mean we see the disabled part then it can easily extract 75 watts so that that point is there which i have seen so it's either asus or it's either nvidia which has put that 86 degree celsius limit on the rtx 3050 or it can be both i am not sure so these were some of the points which i have uh, like collected and observed from my observations from these testings um, i hope you like the like the video and from now the the benchmarks will be there so I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, liked it and subscribe to the channel. I see very less subscribers. Like whosoever is just looking at the videos but not subscribing. So please subscribe. At least like like the video if you like my content. It it really takes a lot of time and effort to make these these kind of videos. And uh, yeah, that that is there. So in the next video, I'll be talking about uh, the how much is the productivity performance loss if we go from disabled to aggressive mode or any other mode and all so yeah please enjoy the video thank you
this is your final run, final lap of the race. on lap one, that's not great, but it's not terrible, stay focused. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Stay alert for threats around you.
but it's not terrible. Stay focused. This is your final lap for the final lap race. race. Stay focused. Stay focused.